Our next speaker is Oma Wui from Bioengineering with the talk Brain on a Chip. We stand at the cusp of the future where every individual's treatment is as precise as it can be, where the darkness of uncertainty is replaced with the light of knowledge and precision. My name is Omar Weyo Olajide, and I'm talking to you about brain on the chip technology. Follow me in this journey. This is a newspaper headline talking about Zariah, a 28 year old woman who has been diagnosed with psychiatric disorder. But the doctor has been told her that there is no solution to your problem. So how do you move from here? She represents about 20% of individuals in America today who are diagnosed with this disorder. But we know that this disorder is complex. We are not able to discover the underlying problem that caused this issue. But we know that this is the cause in the neuron connectivity in the brain. As you can see over here, we can see on the right, how that we can see there is an anomaly in the connection of the neurons here. But how is it being solved today? We all know about animal models, which have been a cornerstone in the medicine industry. But we know that the mice and the rats today, we know how we see them in our streets, how we are like so scared, but we know that they contribute greatly in research today. They are being used to replicate the disorders in terms of early life adversities, a child being taken away from their mom, talking also about the biological effect and the causes, and also about the adult life stresses. But with all these interventions, drugs developed so far have been ineffective. So is there any hope at all for these individuals? This is where my research comes in, where I talk about brain on a chip. I'm making use of what we call brain organoids. And these are miniature brains which mimic exactly what the human brain does. They are gotten from stem cells which replicate almost every other cell in the body. So they are used to actually make cells and use it to make chips also. Now this is biochip, through which we used to integrate with the bioorganoids through which they supply signals and sensors. Combining these two technologies, we are able to have precision in replicating the functions of the human brain, where we're able to actually characterize what happens in the human brain at the micro scale level. So let me take you through this journey, where we have a chip here, which we've developed in my lab, and we can see that the organoids on them are able to replicate the functions in the human brain. We are able to replicate psychiatric disorders in the psychiatric disorders over here that we see, and we're able to have these from each patient for precision medicine. So these have given us a breakthrough in such a way that we can develop drugs for individual patients through what they face. So join me as we solve this problem today. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. You ready for your questions? Let's go. Okay. Tell us about someone who has had an impact on your life. Oh, that, that's, that's pretty simple. That your favorite way to recharge? Oh, two things. First, I play soccer. Okay. So, and I watch documentaries. Uh, with what position on soccer? Field I, I play number seven. So, <laughs> <laughs> like this week, Champions League was, was a great week. So it was, it was fun, you know, being able to have that experience. So and what soccer. kind of documentaries do you like? Um, I love military hardware. Uh -huh. So where we talk about like the weapons, the jets. So they're they pretty, pretty fun to watch. I uh, yes. like aircraft carriers. They're cool. Yeah, they're right. Yeah. Uh, if you could create a new yeah. campus tradition, what would you create? Hmm. Uh, I would say a day where we have um, the faculty and the students, like in a competition or in a flow where they can like, we want to see like the fun side of like uh, faculty, you know, how they can really be students in yes. a fun and a social way. So all research aside, Serious things aside, let us interact in person. That would yeah. be it for me. See each other's human. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I love that. 
Finally, what is your favorite thing so far about San Diego? I would say um, the hike. I love hiking also. So being able to move around, mm -hmm. the weather also plays into it. So hiking, yeah, plays a lot. I love hiking in San Diego. Good. Pretty cool. All right, let's give our colleague a big right. round of applause. Thank you.